Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute-a-day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friends. Welcome back into the Bible Bistro. Here we are in the dining room of the Bible Bistro today, studying Psalm 3. Today, just verse 3. Yesterday, we looked at the beginning. It has an introduction. It's the Psalm of David. talked about how many times we have that particular introduction in the Psalter. This is when he fled from before Absalom, 2 Samuel chapter 15 and 16 is where you'll find that story. And we also mentioned how the ancient church has seen this as one of the six Psalms that talk about the passion, crucifixion, resurrection of Christ. And we're going to continue that theme as well throughout the rest of the week. The end of the second verse ends with that statement of the heretics, in God, for him there is no salvation, or better translate. That's the way I translate it, actually. The better translation is, there is no salvation for him in God. That's more natural, it's better. But they're saying that the idea that there is no salvation is contrasted with the rest of the psalm, because the rest of the psalm tells us something different. This is what the heretics and the backbiters and the wicked men say. They say it of Jesus on the cross. They said it of David when he was being chased from Jerusalem. They've said it of every martyr in every age, and they're going to say it of us if they haven't already. There's no salvation for them in God. There's no saving help, no deliverance from God for that group, for that person. But notice verse 3. Notice how verse 3 begins. But you, O Lord, are a shield about me, my glory and the one who lifts up my head. Now that's verse 3. You'll notice that we begin with the adversative. But, but you, O Lord, are a shield. So if there is no salvation for him and God, if they're right, why then do we have this declaration? It's because they're wrong. There is salvation. There's salvation for David. There's salvation for you. There's salvation for all the martyrs of all the ages. And ladies and gentlemen, there is salvation for Christ on the cross because God is a shield. What a perfectly wonderful way to describe the salvation of the Lord. A shield about me. He protects me. Yes, I might feel their arrows. And yes, I might feel the persecution. And yes, I may even go to the cross go into the amphitheaters and stand before the lions while the cheering crowd says, send the Christians to the lions. And they did that. And those people died, but still God was a shield about them. And one moment they're standing before the lions and the next moment they're standing before the lion of the tribe of Judah. Praise God. He is my glory and the one who lifts up my head. Now for the church, the ancient church, they read that and they said, ah, Here we have the resurrection of Christ. Here we have God doing his work, raising up, lifting up the head of the Savior from the grave. And so, because God was his glory, and he was the one who was the shield for Christ, yes, he did do that. He lifted up the head of Christ. That very first word, though, is so important in here, that but. Because what they might say, is that there is no salvation for for us in God. But what we will say, and the testimony of the scriptures is, there is salvation for us in God, because he's the one that does this work. Yes, you might be able to say of me or any other man who who claims to be a Christian and who proclaims the name of Christ, well, there's plenty of bad things that you've done, plenty of things, error that you've made, plenty of ways of corruption that you've walked in. But ladies and gentlemen, still, my salvation is of God because it doesn't depend on me. It depends on him. He's the one that does it. He's the one that works it. He's the one that places the shield about me. He's the one that is my glory. He's the one that lifts up my head. It is not me. If it was me, they would be right. There is no salvation, but they're not right because there's a but. But you, O Lord. Let's remember that. Join me tomorrow. We'll look at verses 4 and 5 here on Daily Dose Radio. 
Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out The Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.